in your chapter on Muhammad Ali, for instance, you talk of nationalism in the US. Yeah, yeah, you yeah, said yeah, you are yeah, not yeah, nationalistic yeah, yeah, yeah. enough. I think that's something that has come now. I mean, because yeah. we didn't have that same kind of media. that Like now we have that yeah, kind yeah, of media yeah. which has that power, which has all the satellite channels. And yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a very masculine, angry and powerful yeah, media uh, yeah, now. Yeah. Do you think there is a certain kind of similarity between that time when they, when people who didn't want to, in the US who didn't want to join the war and now you have to sort of fall in the line of this is what is nationalism is? I'm sure in America, in the US, which is a, which is a center of... I'm sure there were very robust and masculine uh, media houses that, you know, the gung-ho spirit, let's go out and kick ass. Mm -hmm. it's, a, it's, a, it's a kind of... But uh, uh, despite that, how did the questioning process start in America? Because across the world, it started when, I think, body bags started coming back of American soldiers killed over there. Mm -hmm. But more important was you had the fact that you had a, a, a system where people had to join the forces in America. Right. What are they called? There's a word for it. They had to be drafted. Conscription. The... Yeah, yeah, draft. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the draft. Mm -hmm. So they could they could question. Yeah, well, you know what? What for? No, what for? Mm -hmm. Now there's no draft because now it's yeah. every the fellow explains, you know, uh, 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 uh my locksmith. So now they require, now they become mercenaries because, you know, uh, you can't question the war. Hmm. But they started questioning and, and then also you had, you must remember that a lot of, there were a lot of thinkers at that time who contributed to this, you know, in, I'm sure in, there was a fellow in Berkeley, I forget his name, not the philosopher, Abnamna Yadra, I'm growing old. But there are a lot of thinkers and writers and Bertrand Russell holding the damn room, war crimes trials in, in Stockholm, mm -hmm. taking to, you know, all this is happening. Uh, and the campuses also played a role, the campuses right. uh, across, across the world, they played a very strong role mm -hmm. in mobilizing opinion. And do you think, but do you think that that has, that it's a moment that India has to face now? It's like our Vietnam moment in a way. I think so. I, th I, I, you know, the, and the revolt has started. Right. It has started. It started. It, it takes time to manifest itself. You know, we, all those universities, etc., that JNU and FTI, Patna, NID, and Patna, all kinds of places. Oh, yeah. It happened, mm -hmm. and you see the revolt, and then you, writers and painters and musicians and uh, award wapsi that whole thing happened. Then you've got uh, the, the Party victory over here. Mm -hmm. These are all these are all symptoms. They all of a larger idea, right. of a revolt. You know, and it does take form and shape and it'll, and it'll happen. There's been an upsurge of an independent uh, documentary and filmmaking movement in India too, mm. in the last few years. Like mm. much as the censorship has been very heavy, yeah. there has been an opposite wave almost that, okay, the yeah. more you censor, the more films we'll make yeah, right, and the more right. will people know about it, yeah. the more we will show these films in yeah. separate outside of film festivals, official film festivals. Yeah, yeah. In, Different kinds of festivals. Do you think that's that's something uh, that that's uh, there's a glimmer of hope in the film movement? Absolutely, also? absolutely. Uh, you know the uh, the thing with 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 with, with any uh, fist that is trying to crush, mm -hmm. they don't never realize it spills over into all kinds of dinner. Mm -hmm. A lot of things happen along with that, you know, and uh, it's going to happen. And yeah, look. Uh, This country has been through a hell of a lot over 70 years. It can't be put back into the, into the bottle again. The genie is out. Right. The genie is out. Mm -hmm. you, do you know, have you been to Kashmir? I've mm -hmm. been there. They've lost the fear of death. Mm -hmm. They've lost the fear of the army. It's incredible. Nobody's talking about it. Right. They don't mind dying. So how many people can the army kill? It's an incredible thing. These same quiet people have lost the fear of the CRPF or the BSF or the army. Mm. They're pelting stone that... Mm. God, how did it happen? Mm. How did... It is after years and years of shit. Thakana guy, 
Hmm. The tiredness in the soul. They've seen too much. The tragedy is we have not understood it. Right. We have not understood it. Really the best thing is what you've said, that the genie is out and it can't be put back. Yeah, the genie is out. And it's out in the campuses. It's out in the campus, out in the streets and, 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 mm. and it's out in the street because it, it, it is out in the streets and at the Delhi election. Right. Nobody's talking about it. I'm talking about it. It is out on the street mm. and ordinary people. Mm. And they took on the... And they, they said what they had to say. Mr. Mirza, on that note, my final question to you will be about the early chapters about the house you grew up in. You call it a mural of sorts. That ah, it's a uh, mural. Fonseca. Yeah. And uh, so many stories about that place. Um, I mean... This is only a glimpse. As it was much more, much more colourful. It was incredible. Absolutely. I didn't tell you about the, the, the behind the behind that, there was the driver's quarters, you know, and the people who... Mm. Incredible. And the relationship. Anyway. But there is that one place, uh, in fact, where you say that uh, you were offered, uh, during Eid, you offered sweets and it came back, uh, the like one person, yeah. she returned the sweets to your house and your sister was furious. But uh, there's also a moment of compassion and you say that, okay, I understand the pain that this woman might have gone through. Uh -huh. But at the same time, it seems to be a place where people are living together. And yeah. it seemed to me a microcosm of, of what you call your travels around India. Yeah. That, that person a microcosm of, of middle stroke, upper middle class existence. Middle and upper middle class. Mm -hmm. It wasn't the poor. Okay. Very important. There's a difference. But it's a pretty large section of society and a cross section of it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was. And uh, yeah. And it allowed people from different parts of oh, India. Oh, absolutely. Do you think that the vision of India you grew up in, the house you grew up in, it allowed for different people to come. That's why, that's why when, when I made Naseem, mm -hmm. it's like an epitaph of a nation. It's an epitaph because you see uh, the idea of an, of an India, which is, you know, which is personified in a constitution. That's what we said, is what we want our nation to be. We presented this, uh, this image of this dhancha to ourselves as a people and to the world. This is what India is all about, it's the constitution and there's a lot of poetry in it. Right. And it's all being eroded over time. So I made Naseem, which was the epitaph, over. Mm -hmm. Much beyond Mr. Kya Khilnani fellow, mm -hmm. idea of India. No, because you know, the idea of India, but then you, I started travelling. And then you, re you regain faith again. You know, just go around. Ordinary locals are milling and batches are already away and nickel. Thank you very much, sir, for your time. Take we care. hope that uh, the next is is an is another book coming out, a film, something coming I've out. I've got soon. to understand this book. I'm going to write a, 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 a part two. Okay. To understand this book, I've got to write another book to understand okay. this book. As to where I went right and where I went wrong. I will be stalking you outside. I see as I was <laughs> this time to interview again when that book comes okay. up. Thank you very much, sir, for your time. Take care. And thank you very much for talking to me. Thank Wonderful. You. Thanks very much for watching us. Uh, please make sure that you subscribe to our channel to keep looking up new interviews. And we hope all the very best for Mr. Mirza and this book. Make sure you buy it and read it. <laughs> Memory in the age of amnesia. <laughs>